How's it going everybody? Welcome back to 2A News Now and I really do appreciate you taking your time tuning into my video. Prosecutors have dropped the charges against a New York City council member after she was arrested for carrying a firearm in a gun-free zone. When New York City council member Ina Vernikov was arraigned in a Brooklyn courtroom earlier this month on charges that she illegally carried a concealed handgun in a sensitive place, specifically a pro-Palestinian demonstration, at Brooklyn College, the council member's attorney, Arthur Adelia, distinctly noted that prosecutors would have to prove the gun the police removed from his client's home after her arrest was in fact a firearm defined by New York State law. It's curious to say the least that her attorney is suggesting the pistol might not have been in working condition when she was allegedly spotted with the gun tucked into the front of her pants. Was the councilwoman engaging in a little bit of trolling? By carrying a non-working firearm at a protest, the councilwoman wouldn't provide any more details, which is smart from a defense attorney's perspective. Make the prosecutors do the work. It's up to them to prove his client is guilty, not the other way around. But as it turns out, prosecutors won't be doing much on the case at all going forward. A representative of the Brooklyn District Attorney's Office says the felony charge against the councilwoman will soon disappear after police determined the gun in question was in fact inoperable when they removed it from her home. The NYPD officers monitoring the rally did not arrest Vernikov or seize the weapon at the time. Instead, police took possession of the gun when she voluntarily turned herself in and handed over the weapon the following morning. When the NYPD inspected the firearm a few weeks later, Son of a gun, they found out it was missing a key part. And what was that key part? The recoil spring assembly, making the gun inoperable. As a result, the prosecutors had to drop the charge. It is the first time the charge has been brought forth under the new state law in Kings County. A spokesperson for the Brooklyn District Attorney said, in order to sustain this charge, it must be proven beyond a reasonable doubt that the weapon in question was capable of firing bullets. Absent such proof, we have no choice but to dismiss these charges. Of course, the big question everybody has, but we'll probably never know. Was the pistol inoperable when the congresswoman had it on her person as she counter-protested at the rally at Brooklyn College? But absent to any evidence to the contrary, prosecutors simply don't have a case against her. A lot of people were actually hoping for a Second Amendment challenge against New York's ban against concealed carry near protests and on the grounds of college and university campuses. But obviously this is a better outcome for the city councilwoman than going to trial. A big congratulations to the councilwoman for beating these charges. And hopefully now that the felony charge against her has been dismissed, the calls for the city council to remove her from the office will subside. Just like the prosecutors, those trying to boot her from her city council seat don't have a legal leg to stand on. I applaud the city councilwoman for standing up for her rights. I'd really like to know in the comments section down below, do you guys think she was carrying a firearm that was actually operable? As you can see in the picture that I posted, you can clearly see that she had a firearm. Or do you think she was actually trying to get caught to challenge that law by carrying a firearm that was not operational at the time? And as always, I appreciate everybody's support with the channel. You guys are always crushing it by liking, sharing, and subscribing, and hitting those post notifications. And I invite everybody back to see my next video.